apples that you see wherever they are located there and there's a few boxes here on a daily basis we are putting together an average of 2600 bags which include two meals in each bag that are distributed out to the kids of Winchester City. We fill up 12 buses each day. Twice a week we do this. That covers for the whole week. We have a great group of ladies who are gracious enough to come in here during this time and do their part in helping to make sure the kids are fed through all this, you know. And we miss them though. <laughs> we do miss the kids a lot. We miss seeing them and at our schools and All the food service staff has been amazing. Um, I work at Handley High School cafeteria, but everybody has kind of worked together from all the schools. Fortunately, we don't have to work every day. You know, everybody's only set for one day to keep our numbers down to where we're under 10 in a group so that we're keeping our safe physical distance. And we have a good time. You know, I've met some really good people here and everybody works together and helps each other and it's the spirit has been really great so the bright futures program definitely has alleviated some of the stress that comes with being laid off due to COVID-19, um, worrying about whether or not to pay rent or the light bill or putting food on the table. So the Bright Futures program as well as the program in the community to provide food for children has definitely been impactful for me and my two kids um, as a single mom, but also parents in general, I'm sure, are feeling the relief of stress from providing for their kids as well. So I definitely want to say thank you to the Bright Futures program and the community in Winchester for doing this for our children. It really makes a big difference. You know, I think people were kind of wondering how it was going to go, but as time has gone on, more people show up. I mean, you can see it's definitely a need in the community. Uh, we didn't know it was going to go up first, but it's been going fairly well lately. You can't do much chit-chatting because of the social distancing, but uh, you can, they're always very grateful and uh, very appreciative. Pues uh, el superintendente me preguntó uh, cómo ha ido el programa desde que empezamos. Pues al principio había algunas dudas cómo iba a ir el programa, pero ha mejorado y últimamente ha llegado mucha más gente, mucha más gente a recoger comida porque es una necesidad en la comunidad.